asked um, questions that was going down. I was the first black man to be elected in the city. I served eight years. God knows how many times I sat down on the committee and he says, note the report, note the report, note the report. And there's goddamn problems outside in the community and they keep noting reports. I hope the next mayor don't note them, they do something about it. <laughs> now, where am I? The question I want to ask is this. The last decade, I've seen a visible change in the population of our city. With a number of new arrivals coming into our city. In addition to that, there's a lot of internal migration with a lot of people coming from London and elsewhere in the UK to our city. What thoughts has candidates given to such things like community relations, community representation, community development, and things of that nature for the benefit of our city? Can I ask Gary to respond first? I'd be delighted to. It's good to see you again, Joe. We miss you on this council. You did a great job. Uh, defrauded in your seat by the Labour Party, you seem to recall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Leicester's multicultural city is one almost unique in this country because it turns over from time to time. You can't have helped noticing that if you go to the West End now, there's a large Polish communities currently living there. Uh, we go to uh, uh, other parts of our city, we've got people from Somalia. Uh, that's one of the things that makes Leicester unique and it's one of the things that refreshes us about every decade. So it must be capable of coping with that change. Um, multicultural communities by very nature require special attention and that's another reason why I want money and decision making powers out in the communities of the city. I just don't think we're capable anymore of running a huge bureaucracy with currently 16,800 people employed that can actually respond to the needs of the local community. We just can't do it. It's too big, it's too unwieldy, it costs too much. So you put it out into the community, you give those people power, you give those people money, and they govern themselves. It's as simple as that, and you've got to be honest with the people and, to quote somebody else, transparent with the people. And if sometimes they fail, we have to make sure we get them back on the right track. If you believe in Leicester, if you believe in its future, and if you believe that a multicultural community is where you want to live, give them the power to live the way they want to live and to deliver for Leicester what we want, which is a real bright future. Well, that university is also a, a uh, very multicultural place, arguably even more so than the city of Leicester, and we work very well together as a multicultural society. The university is a microcosm of the city. It is a, a small sampling representative of how the wider city functions and how a multicultural society can work. This is the ideas that I want to bring into the city. We want to get everyone working together. And as, as Gary said, put the power back to the, the people of the city. People know what they want, and we want to get those people accountable and make it work for everyone. Thank you. Um, Mohammed. Yeah, um, in terms of involving communities, there's many communities who feel disfranchised from um, politics because they're not involved in it. Let's involve them in consultation. Let's go into the communities who feel they're not part of the system and involve them so they feel part of it. If it's our Leicester, if this is one Leicester, then everyone should be involved. When the government talks about big society, we are a big society, it's just no one's put the effort into making the big society one society. We don't need big society, we need one society. We've got the 25 year plan called the One Leicester um, Partnership Strategy. We need to keep to that whilst investing in the people. When the last council, which has done a brilliant job in um, writing the strategy up, when they talk about investing in people, not cars, let's invest in the communities as well. Let's go into the communities and the areas which don't feel part of the political system, speak to them. The only way they'll be involved is by speaking to them. We leave them out and we leave them out too long. We've divided the city up because of this. We've got a part where there's high apathy, that no one turns out to vote because they don't feel part of the system anymore. Let's go out, let's bring them back in because they need to have input how they want their services run. They, want, they need to know how the city is run. They need to have input, input into the ways which the council operates. And Joseph, people like you are inspiration to many and I hope to see many more under my mayoralty part of the council. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's open it up. We'd like to ask you a question on a similar theme or we'll make an observation. The gentleman over there. <coughs> Hello there. Uh, yeah, um, I'd just like to say that um, just in terms of uh, community relations, I mean, I myself, uh, I'm a student here at DMU uh, and I've lived on and off in Leicester for about, for about the last 10 years. Um, I love this city, I, lo um, you know, I love it a lot. One of the things that strikes uh, me about this city 
is the fact that it is so uh, multicultural, and that's its strength. You know, it, like um, I love the slogan "One Leicester" because you know um, it's true, basically. Um, and I just think.